if she decides he did commit a violation of the personal conduct policy, now we get into some very interesting terrain because there were five separate alleged victims. Each one constitutes a separate offense, and she has the wherewithal to uh, mete out discipline up to and including a baseline suspension of six games for each incident of, of misconduct. So it's a wild card here. We don't know how many of the complainants have bona fide, you know, meritorious cases. So there's a wide sentencing range that she could use. But if she if she imposes any level of discipline, even if it's just one game, the downside of the new collective bargaining agreement for the players is that they've given away to Commissioner Goodell the right to take her discipline and increase it by any amount that they want. So by way of example, if she imposes a two game suspension and the league doesn't feel that that's uh, sufficient, they'll take an appeal and their highest paid employee, Roger Goodell, will obviously increase the level of that discipline to some area uh, around what the league had originally recommended, which was an indefinite suspension of one year with the right to reapply. 